So let us take a discussion further for monopoly and we'll talk about uh, common misunderstandings of the monopoly market. One of the misunderstanding is that a monopolist can set whatever price he wants, right? He can also set infinitely high price. We'll, we'll see that this is not the case. And uh, monopolist also has a supply curve as the perfectly competitive market. No, he doesn't have a supply curve. So we'll look at it by exactly we, we are saying so. See, one thing is that monopolist doesn't have an incentive to set infinitely high prices. Manlije, if this is the demand curve of the monopolist, it's a downward sloping curve. If monopolist is going to set very high prices, then uh, people are not going to buy anything, right? Or people would buy very few units. So supposedly if it sets very high price, like for example, um, if P is equal to A, right? Just put in place of P A. So what do you get? You get Q equals to zero. So agar aap A set kar denge price ko, to aap kuch bhi nahi paenge. By setting an infinitely high price, he won't be able to sell anything. Right? So aisa nahi hai that monopolist can also set, because he's the only supplier in the market, he can set whatever price he wants. No, he can't. Second thing, monopolist doesn't have a supply curve. Generally, the idea is just say, in perfectly competitive market, you have P is equal to MC as a supply curve. You also have MR equal to MC as a supply curve. That condition is giving you the supply curve for the monopolist. No, it is not true, right? In case of perfect competition, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the price and the quantity. We will see that this is not the case under monopolist. Just say, monop perfectly competitive market, mein kya hota hai? he tries to maximize his profit. P into Q minus C as a function of Q. And we'll find out that value of Q, which is going to maximize profit. Price given here. Price is a constant thing. So that is given. Minus C dash Q equals to zero. From here you get P is equal to MC. Right? A P given hota hai, beta. So you can find out that value of Q, which is going to Oh, give you this P is equal to MC. This P is equal to MC is what your profit maximization condition under perfect competition. P given hai. So at given P, using this condition, I can find out that Q. Right? That's true. This is the supply curve under perfectly competitive market. But in monopolist scenario, this is not going to happen because uh, monopolists can determine the price and output simultaneously. The movement uh, output is determined, price is also determined there from the demand function. So I'll give you an example. So just to show that a one-to-one -one correspondence nahi hai price or quantity ke beech mein. Aisa bhi ho sakta hai that at the same price, if the demand curve is going to change, you can have uh, two different quantities which could be sold, right? Using the uh, profit maximization condition. So supposedly if the uh, demand function is P is equal to 10 minus Q, MC is 2. I can find out TR. TR is P into Q, which is 10 minus Q into Q, which is 10 Q minus Q square. What is MR? 10 minus 2 Q. Monopolist profit maximization condition is MR equal to MC. So that would mean 10 minus 2 Q equals to 2. Right? So you get 8 equals to 2 Q. So you have Q star equals to 4. And what happens is that at Q star equals to 4, you can find out your price, which comes out to be 10 minus 4, which is 6. Amanda, there the demand curve changes to 10 minus 2Q. The moment demand curve changes to 10 minus 2Q, your revenue is what? Price into quantity, which is 10Q minus 2Q square. MR nikalenge, differentiate this DTR by DQ. 10 minus 4Q, let's say MC is 2. So again with MR equals to MC, what will you have? 10 minus 4Q equals to 2. Right? So you will have what? 8 equals to uh, 4Q. So you will have what? Uh, Q equals to 2. Right? You will have Q equals to 2. Now add Q equals to 2. What is the price? 10 minus 2 into 2, 10 minus 4, which is 6. So, you can see 
the moment demand has changed the quantities has changed but the price is not so a ki price pe different quantities aa sakti hain for the monopolists so there is no one to one correspondence between p and q in supply function you need to have that so is wajah se what do you uh, we say that the monopolist doesn't have a supply curve right monopolist doesn't have a supply curve so this is a this is a mathematical example for the same right chaliye thank you beta